Hey everyone, this is George Kuros, and I want to try this new thing, and I'm actually calling it Mindset Mondays, and here's a little theme music. So it's just going to be something, you know, every Monday, you know, for at least the next few weeks. Uh, I just want to share something about kind of mindset. Uh, we're actually doing this Facebook group, talking about some of the ways we can actually improve both personally and professionally. So it's not separated uh, as one or the other, because, you know, we have to do both. And so really kind of looking at how do we kind of shape our, our thinking, really, how do we develop some of our goals, what are our strategies, and what are some things that we want to do to actually improve not only the, the way we do our work, but our, our personal well-being. And I think that's something that I've really tried to think about over the last little while. So it's just going to be kind of really short lessons that I've learned, try to keep it around the five-minute mark. And so this is posted uh, on my podcast. Obviously, you can see this here on YouTube wherever you're at. So um, if you want, you're more than welcome to join the Facebook group. It's totally free. We're doing a book study, but also talking about healthy habits happening at the same time. And what I'm going to talk about just this, on this very first Mindset Monday is, is actually uh, thinking about like, why do you even want to change? Like why? And you know, we, we, you've all heard the Simon Sinek, uh, you know, TED Talk, um, you know, what is your why? One of the things I always talk about is like, really, what is your compelling reason? Even going a little bit further than what is your why, but like, what is the reason that you do things that you want to do? And if you've been following me for any amount of time uh, over the last maybe even three, four years, I've been really trying to lose weight. I've been trying to, you know, get healthier. Uh, and I just seemed like no matter what I was doing, uh, the harder I tried, the worse it seemed to get. I would gain more and more weight. And there is a point for me where actually things started to change and I started to see progression. And I think before when I was trying to lose weight, that why I was trying to actually do it was to, I'm going to be honest, yeah, I was just trying to look better. That was it. It was like, it's not even pretend like, hey, I want to look better. Of course I do. But I think that to me is not really this, this really powerful reason what, what we want to do is just kind of looking better. And maybe it works for some and that's great. But really kind of the tipping point for me where things really started to change uh, was during COVID. And it wasn't just that COVID had happened, but it was also actually seeing what the comorbidities were of people actually who passed away from COVID. And it was actually directly linked in many cases to obesity. And I, to being totally honest with you, I fell into that category. And so when I started looking at, yeah, I was working out, but I was eating terribly and I continued, I thought, you know, maybe I could be like my 20 year old self and, you know, out exercise my eating habits and it wasn't working, you know, now that I'm in my mid forties. And when I started to see, you know, studies that were showing um, obesity directly linked to these deaths. I started thinking about like, hey, I need to be around. I have, you know, two kids. I have a family that I need to take care of. And that's something that's, you know, really important to me. So I'm like, I have to start thinking about this. And that was a really tipping point. So when you look at my compelling reason for um, why I wanted to start to lose weight, start to really focus on my mental health, my physical health, it was because of my kids. It was because of wanting to be around. And I know sometimes it it actually helps me when I'm in the gym, you know, taking some time for myself to say like, hey, you know, this is time away from my kids. This is time away from my work, but this will give me more time long term and better time long term with my family. And that was really compelling to me. And so then I started thinking about like, how have I done that, you know, in my professional life? And really, when I think about my professional life, I was kind of disenchanted with education and really didn't want to be involved anymore. And I didn't really find much satisfaction in my job. I was actually right at the point where I was about to quit. And then uh, I decided I was going to give it one more year. I started a new school and I had an amazing leader. Her name's Kelly Wilkins, who I reference in basically every book that I've ever written in Innovators Mindset, Innovates of the Box because of a teacher. And she saw things in me that I didn't really see in myself. And that really brought something out different in me. And I don't even think that was my compelling reason of why I do the work that I do in education. When I really think about it, it wasn't just Kelly did that for me. I watched her do it for so many other people. 
And I wanted to be that person. I wanted to be Kelly. I wanted to be the person that inspired other people to that go out and make an impact on others because Kelly has done that for so many people. So when I think of that reason of why I do what I do, it is because I want to positively make an impact on other people so they can go. And I try to live that as much as possible. Now, I, I will not say that, you know, when I'm looking at my personal, I'm like a hundred percent, you know, stick to, you know, my plans every time, but it's something that I always come back to the same professionally, you know, I falter often in, in my goals of what that really compelling reason is. But I think it always helps to bring me back. Like, why do you want to do when you get really frustrated? Um, maybe that you're not seeing the results today or this week. It is kind of that centering thing. What is that compelling reason that makes me want to do what I do? So what I'll challenge you with on this Mindset Monday is to just think about really, if you want to change something, why? Why do you want to change something? Why do you want to get better? And why do you want to grow? And is it something that's really big that will, you know, get you excited, you know, help center you? Or is it a something superficial? Is it something that's not going to matter, you know, three months, let alone three, 30 years from now? So think about that compelling reason. And if you're on YouTube, comment. Uh, if you're in this Facebook group, and as I said, the link is if you're watching or listening anywhere, you can join us on that Facebook group. It's meant to be a supportive group for us to connect with one another. But I find that that compelling reason has really helped me kind of center why I do what I do. So I hope you enjoyed this little bonus episode uh, of the podcast. But thank you so much for taking this time. I hope you have an incredible week ahead. Thank you for all you do. Take care.